spread triad. Today I want to talk about this powerful concept and I will show you how to use spread triads uh, just using a very few simple fingerings. Uh, let's say that we are in the key of G, right? And then we want to play all of the chords in the G, in the key of G. So this is the one chord, the two chord, A minor, and the three chord, B minor. Now I'm using a, a bar chord here. And as you see, I'm using an A shape bar chord, right? Then we go to the four chord, and again, I want to use the same shape A shape for the four chord, and then D. This is the five. See, I'm always using the same shape, and then D, E minor here at the seventh fret, A minor shape bar chord again, and then for the diminished. We can play this, the, the F sharp, this is uh, awkward, a little awkward, and then back to the one chord. One more time using the same shape. Now, when we use the A shape bar chords, uh, there is something happening. Um, if you look at the, let, let's play B minor for example, if you look at the third string and, the, and at the fifth string, you will see that those two strings are playing the same note, just an octave apart. This is a B, when I go to C, that's a C. So those two notes are playing the root of the chord. And, um, and now let's do this. We don't want to play the third string anymore. So back to B minor, and we just play the second, the fourth, and the fifth string. Like this. Okay, and le let's just use this fingering to do that. The index, ring finger, and middle finger. Like that, okay? And this is a spread triad. Um, now if we go to C, we need to move that finger, that note up. Right, again, this is the full shape, but we don't play the third string. So, index, ring, pinky. That's D. Let's see, this is D, E minor, and F sharp diminished, and back to G. Okay, so let's play all of the chords backward. G, and then this is the F sharp diminished, 6, 5, 4, Sounds cool, right? So get get used to those fingerings, um, and now we since we play acoustic guitar and we love the sound of open strings, uh, that's why we play the acoustic guitar in the first place, right? Because we love the sound and the tone the tone of the open strings. So now let's see, since we are in the key of G. I guess that the G's we can play the open third string next to the to those triads and spread triads like here it sounds perfectly. And if I go so now I'm back to playing four strings. You see, when we go to the F sharp diminished, no, that doesn't work. So okay, so I, I need to skip the the third string when I play that. Triad. When I go to E minor, perfect, sounds great. When I go to the five chord, that's a little dissonant. When I go C, perfect, and B minor. Oh, I love that. This is a very cool sound. And A minor seven, that's and G. Right? And now we can have fun with those fingerings. Let's play a simple chord progression. For example, we play E minor, and then we play D, and so E minor, D, B minor, C, and uh, something like this, for example. Yeah. 
or maybe we go to the one chord. pattern I'm using here uh, goes like this I'm playing uh, 5 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 just like that and if you need the tablature for this you can you can find it uh, inside my channel, True Fire channel. It's called Flat Picking Experience. And um, if you really need a tab for it, um, you will find the link in the description. I love playing with spread triads and I've been using them in many songs, actually. Uh, for example, I've been using spread triads in my song Unknown Legends. And if you want to listen to it, you can find uh, the link in the description again. Oh, and I've been using it in Maple Leaf, and that's another song I really, mm, I really like. And again, you can find the link in the description, and uh, let me know if you like it. Uh, so that's all for today. I hope that you have fun uh, with these fingerings, and I hope that spread trials uh, opens up a, a new world to to your playing. All right, so. If you enjoyed the lesson, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more lessons and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.